Hey guys, this is Jaren, and uh, this video is to show a library that I just made to help you make custom commands that can do whatever you want. And I tried to capture as much, uh, as much of the uses that I could think of as possible, including things like uh, command arguments and things like that. Which uh, command arguments, if you don't know what that is, is just additional pieces of information that you give to your command. Okay, so for example, for this video I made a square command that is supposed to build a square of any size out of any material. So the, the way that you can make that happen is you have to supply additional information, the size of the square that you want to build, and then also the material you want the square to be built out of. Okay, so I've already installed this command on my server. So if I type in um, ha money sign square, because money sign is the leading character that I chose for my command, then I should get the result or the action that I specified. So the action in the case of not supplying any additional piece of information is it says you can't run the square command without specifying a size and material. Type help square to find out how to use it. So I also built into the library like a, uh, a help command, which is actually a command in itself. So if you type in help square, then it gives you sort of the documentation for that command. So it tells you square, build a square out of any size, any material. It gives you the usage here. So it looks like the first argument is supposed to be the material that you want the square to be made out of, the material ID. The second argument is the size of the square. So um, why don't I try square, um, we'll just see what material ID 10 is, and then we'll do a size of uh, 30. Nice. So it looks like material ID 10 is lava. So now, wow, that's cool. I didn't know that. And now I get this really cool like lava enclosure. Pretty sweet. Awesome. And it should be 30 by 30 should be the uh, size of the square. We could just verify that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's should be halfway there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good. Looks like it's 30 by 30. Uh, so that's awesome. So we could try to break it a little bit too. If I, if I try to just um, typing in one argument, again, it gives you the you can run square command without specifying a size and material. Cool. So you can and you can actually we could we could try adding more arguments there. It should just ignore those additional arguments. Let's see, so I just mash the keyboard as like in another argument. And um, so there you have it. So I can switch over to the code and I'll show you how to import this library and also how to specify what your command does and the, the help description for your command and everything. All right. All right, so here is the code. And um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot for what's actually happening. Um, so I'll, I'll go over this line by line so you guys understand. So this, uh, this line, as you know, imports the library. So once we run this, this bit of code here, uh, which references the library in the usual way with the nickname as the first component here dash the name of the library we get these functions as a result okay so the very first function that I call in main is this init command set function and what this does is it just initializes the command engine and uh, initializes it with a lead character which goes on the beginning of all of your commands. So I chose the money sign, but you can really choose whatever character you want, and even multiple char uh, characters if you wanted. Okay, so uh, once this is run, we can start adding commands and defining new commands and uh, adding them to this command engine. So that's what we're doing right here with this function call. We are calling this function add command, 
with a command and what's going in this slot is a new command so this is so I'm only actually using three blocks from my library here this init command set which initializes the engine this add command and then this new command constructor right here what's called a constructor in object-oriented programming so let's explain all of the properties of a new command okay we have the command's name which goes right here this is a square in this case and then we have the uh, the action and by the way the name determines what you have to type in to activate your uh, your command right so remember I was typing in square to activate this command and then um, the next argument here or the next property for a new command is what you want the command to actually do so this is any bit of code wrapped into a function so mine is this build square function and uh, as you can remember from the demo my command square builds a square so this is the function that it actually does when I uh, call this command okay then the next uh, property here is the help description and this is what gets output when you type uh, money sign help square so it just gives you this help description so and this can be whatever bit of text you want but it really should be uh, some text that describes how to use your command okay so people won't just know I mean even though you know probably how to use your command it's good to let pe other people know how to use your command as well and that's what you should do in the help description next we have an is live flag so if this flag is set to false uh, this command will be deactivated in, in a sense and you could if you wanted store this new command in some variable and then toggle this property of that variable at will so you could deactivate or activate a, a new command dynamically and then have the command engine recognize when or when not to run the action when someone runs the command all right and then um, here this is a nice a really nice property and what this property does is it specifies the arguments that get passed to your action so the action here is build square and the arguments are material and size and those arguments are stored in this special args object that gets passed as the first parameter to your action so our action has this args parameter and in it gets stored each of these property names so you, you notice that in my build square function here I get the value named size from args and the value named material from the args and that's because when the command gets called it dynamically creates these uh, uh, properties for this args object and then passes that args object to your action so that so it just basically loops this information back into your build square function and uh, does so in order for uh, for getting pieces of information that are typed in with the command so like you saw when uh, when I was demoing this I typed in um, ha uh, money sign square space the name of the material or the material ID rather space the size of the square I wanted so this information right here uh, as it gets associated to these properties uh, which are associated to this args object and just basically just allows you to uh, really clearly define how your command is used and the additional pieces of information that your command needs in my case material and size okay so uh, the last the very last property of a new command is this restrict to player list so you can either pass in false here which means that anybody can run this command on your server otherwise you could pass in a list of players that are allowed to use this command okay so if you pass in a list of players and any of them run the command then the command will work but if you pass in a list of players and then someone tries to run it that's not on that list they're not able to run the command and uh, 
I have some uses in my mind on uh, using these properties to differentiate different players on maybe different teams and things like that. You don't have to use them. If you want just anybody to be able to run the command, just um, put it true for is live and put false for restrict to player list. Um, all right, so that should explain it pretty well. And um, let me know in the comments on my program profile for this library if you have any, uh, if you run into any bugs with it, or if you have any ideas on how to improve it. And um, thanks a lot for watching, guys.